We as gamers have been gaming for a long time, and even a person who mostly plays first-person shooters all day had games that I started out with, and granted, some were terrible. But there are games that left an impact on me that shaped me into the gamer that I am today, either for better or for worse. So let's dive into the childhood of a slightly deranged gaming YouTuber who is me, and also be reminded that I am 16 and I was around when certain companies were just making an impact. So show some mercy in the comment section, okay? So let's get this started. Number 5. Simpsons Hit and Run. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, my mom never ever let me close to GTA when I was a kid. If I even touch the disc, my butt would be redder than Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, okay? So I had to find an alternative. So the Simpsons Hit and Run was an, the alternative. Upon hours of kicking and racing and even jumping, I just messed around. Sure, there were no guns or drugs to keep me satisfied or to show off my bad morals in the game, but something about it really screamed GTA for kids, and it still to this day holds a special place in my heart. And I even found some of the racing sessions to be a little bit unfair when I got older, but, I was still, but it was still fun. <laughs> when half of it was just game cliches, the game did know it full and well, but as some guy said, the show must go on. And so did along the game went, with decent story and very odd Apu level that I could never get over. The game, of course, earns a very good significant spot on this list, as well as a very big question mark for the ending. Trust me, you'll get to see it. Number 4. Backyard Football. Yes, even a person who has never loved sports, I have played the backyard game. And backyard football got me into this trend. I could customize a reliable character and somehow pick a draft that was amazingly good. And I think from the last game I played, I got, well, my guy got MVP each game. He was that good. <laughs> Personally, if backyard games or whatever company who made backyard games came to me with a sponsorship, I would take it in a heartbeat. Number 3. Kingdom Hearts. Yes, even I have heard that beginning tar guitar rift and got so emotionally nostalgic, I cried. Kingdom Hearts was a game with a story that I could never follow, but the gameplay of the tactical RPG was there. So I did the kid thing, and just have fun. Nothing could have prepared me for the story, but Kingdom Hearts will always be in my mind as the most fun RPG I have played. From the characters from Disney to the great game mechanics and the abilities, it was like playing an action-packed anime. For that, I hope to get a, every Kingdom Hearts game imaginable, because it was a good... It, it was just like a good game to me, though. like, you know, it's just very good. And it's kind of like a drug. I'm gonna need a lot of it to retain a big chunk of my hot childhood. <laughs> Number two, Smash Bros. Melee. Not much to say except that this game lets you pretty much have the most fun in ages. Even I, a person who hates platforming, often found this game as a combination of platforming, battling, and a lot of friendships ruined. Even knowing Brawl was the first game of this saga, was the only one to actually include a story, Melee just had more of an impact on me as a child, even knowing though I can't say much for it. And might I say that most of the time I spend was just me beating up Mario. As I hate say, I hate to say it, guys. I'm I'm sorry, but I hate Mario. <laughs> just hate the guy. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what it is. I just hate him. Number one. Well, this may be the most unexpected entry of this list. As I stated before, I don't love sports but I love sports games. And there's one 
particular game that just left such a big impact on me that I had to leave it first in this list. And I'll give you only three hints. Gloves, face, and a lot of crappy physics. You got five seconds to answer. Too late! <laughs> face breaker! In a word, fun mixed with blood, mixed with wacky physics, it's like a fun smoothie that you can just slurp down with ease. I remember looking for a, this game in five different stores just to buy it. Something about breaking a face was awesome. Not only that, but you could full on customize a character and beat the snot out of it if you wanted to. Sadly, the game never got a sequel to my knowledge, but I still... It was still a great game of my childhood that I can remember. And knowing full well that I could customize the face of anyone I, I wanted and just punch the ever-living crap out of it. <laughs> oh, oh, you know. You know I would be on that game like white on rice. It, it, it was fun. It was awesome. It was nostalgic, and I just couldn't help but play it. But anyways, guys, that's the list. And for those of you who probably were expecting a longer list of just games I was going to be able to play, um, let me be honest here. My childhood didn't consist of many games, since I only started gaming when I was 10. That's not a very long time since I've been gaming, and in certain ways, that I don't consider my other childhood part of it to be gaming because, well, Flash games are not considered games. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you agree with some of these games being, you know, the top five, like, childhood games that you would play, let me know down in the comment section. Also, do you like this top five idea that I have? You know, just in case I mix things up a little bit. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you scouts later! Okay, yeah, I know I technically ended the video, but can we have one more face break, please? Thank you!